A law bearing the name of an ISU student hit and killed by a side ride bus in 2015 is close to becoming a reality. Emily's law, which will change how the state prosecutes hit and run accidents, just passed through both chambers of the Iowa legislature. Benjamin Clay drove the bus that hit and killed Jacobs in 2015. Court documents show Clay may not have known he hit someone right when it happened, even though he realized it later that day. That meant the court couldn't uphold a Class D felony charge, and he only spent 30 days in jail. Local 5's Eva Anderson spoke with with Emily's family, who says it's bringing them hope after five years of fighting for change. This Mother's Day is bittersweet for Ann Jacobs. The mother of three beautiful children only has two still with her. Her daughter Emily killed in 2015, a freshman at ISU who had a bright future ahead. Very kind hearted. She had a really good sense of humor. She also loved kids and was smart, graduating at the top of her class from Center Point Urbana. She's in our prayers. The Jacobs lost Emily oh. December of 2015 when she was struck and killed by a Cyride bus on a rainy day when she was walking to class. Evidence showed the driver, Benjamin Clegg, heard a loud thud. When his route took him back around to the area, he saw emergency responders and an accident scene. And then he texted a friend at that point and said, I think I've hit and killed someone with the bus. But Clegg didn't come forward. Jessica Reynolds was a prosecutor. So we could prove that he had knowledge minutes after the impact, uh, but the evidence didn't show that he had knowledge at the time. That didn't cut it for the court that ruled on the eve of the trial, the prosecution would have to prove Clegg knew he'd hit her on impact because of the way the current hit and run law is written, which wasn't clear in Clegg's situation. Clegg was sentenced to just 30 days in jail. It was just a horrible legal battle. Reynolds wanted the law changed so there could be no loopholes advocating for Emily's law. In it, if a driver later discovers their vehicle injured or killed someone, they must, quote, make a good faith effort to let authorities know. Reynolds and the Jacobs family started pushing for the law in 2016, but it never made it through. I had gotten to a point that I didn't know if it would ever pass. Until this Friday, when both chambers passed it. Now it moves to the desk of Governor Reynolds. Jessica Reynolds is hopeful. I can't speak for the governor, but I have sincere faith that she will sign this law. And the Jacobs family, who never felt they got justice, is hopeful too. It feels good. It, yeah. It'll never change the fact that she's not here anymore, but I'm glad that it can help other families in the future. Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.